Growing demand from Asian countries for vegetable seeds has opened up a world of opportunity for Jaswan Singh, who grows and exports seeds suitable for the Asian market. Melda has that story. These are vegetable seeds. Produced by Palmerston North-based company Biogen International Limited, these little nuggets of black gold are high-yielding and insect-tolerant, adaptable for the Asian region, and they are in high demand. This seed is not like a anybody's seed of cauliflower or cabbage or radish because, as I said, these seeds are specially being selected, developed, suitable for Asian market. This one-man enterprise has been producing and exporting seeds to India for the last five years. Giving them, supplying them a real high-quality seed, which is having it. Right now, the Biozin has much more demand or export order pending to supply the seed than what we can produce every year. It means that Biozin has already made a place in high quality seed segment. Yeah. Despite his world experience in plant pathology and breeding, just one couldn't find a suitable job for his qualification when he arrived in New Zealand seven years ago. Technology lab of the Mass University. I decided that why not I start my own company because I have so much experience in this line. I should be successful because when I can make a multinational companies more profitable, why not my own company? Now, 10 farm owners in the North Island are growing also, seeds from Biogen. I supply the seed to my growers, the stock seed, and under the Biogen supervision, the technical guidance, they grow the seed, and I buy the entire seed on pre-arranged price before they plant the seed. And the criteria is for growers, he should make minimum of $2,500 per hectare from Biogen seed? Well, it's, uh, it's probably just about doubling every year. Um, you know, as there were some products, we started off with uh, producing 100 kilos, and now we're producing, um, this was oh, five years ago, we are producing 100 kilos. Now we're producing eight to 10 tonne of the same product. Biogen, or exporting seed into India, it gives you the, the scope to sell large volumes of seed. Uh, in comparison to selling into Australasia or New Zealand, uh, where the limited markets, there's, there's massive population over there, so that the, the um, ability to move large quantities of seeds looks very promising. This is a very good uh, quality of uh, yeah. cleaning you have done, very nice. Excellent. The worldwide market of the seed is around more than 34 billion US dollar. Now India seed market is around more than 2 billion US dollar. The vegetable seed market is around 385 million dollar. There is a huge potential for a company like Biozin to fit in that kind of uh, sector and to have a sizable market in five to 10 years. That's why I chose the India first and thereafter, my plan is to enter in Southeast Asia, which is primarily Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Vietnam. The Bio Commerce Center saw the huge potential of Biogen and offered just one a commercial collaboration. What then to negotiate now? It's the scale of the opportunity that he saw, and that's very hard for New Zealanders to understand the size of the markets that Jaswant's um, looking at. We have relationships for companies for a number of years and we look to grow them in a very quick way over those years. So in two or three or four years time, Jaswant's company will be making a sizable economic contribution to New Zealand through foreign exchange, through employment and through the, the, the uh, funds that he will be spending in the lower North Island. Jaswant is grabbing every opportunity with both hands to help ensure Biogen's place is firmly planted in this industry.